All right, so now I'm done configuring the pop-ups. So we'll just look at those for a second before we move on. Uh, so this was just the boundary. I disabled the pop-up. So now if we click in here, nothing happens. So that looks good. Uh, these are the uh, management prescriptions. So if I click in here, it just simply says the name of that area. So I felt like that was all was really necessary. These are the ranger districts. If we click on that, it'll tell you the name of the ranger district. Land ownership. So we just have the acreage and then the uh, the name of the owner for a service, for example. These are the wilderness areas. Again, we just basically have the name and the acreage. Roads, just the name. Trails, the name and the miles. And then lastly, the recreation areas, we just have the name. All right, so in short, I feel like everything is well is symbolized well. It's in the right projection, and we have configured the pop-ups. So we should be ready to move on to, uh, to actually uh, publishing this over to ArcGIS Online. Okay, so first, if you're going to publish to your ArcGIS Online account, you need to be logged into your account. So I'm logged in up here. Again, you would need to be logged in. Okay, to actually publish this, we have to go to Share. And we can share layers or publish layers to the web or the map. Um, here, we're going to publish the map, which will also publish the layers along with it. So I'm going to do Web Map. And that will open up this Share as Web Map uh, uh, dialog box. So I'm going to call this Mon Forest Map. Uh, anything with the red asterisks is required, so we'll have to fill this out. So, let's put data for Mon Forest. And for tags, I'm going to put West Virginia AGP, Mon Forest. Should be enough. Again, that's for searchability when you're on RCS Online. Uh, for configuration, we have exploratory, editable, and visualization. We're going to stick with exploratory because we want to actually have the raw data with its attributes to be um, transferred over as opposed to like pictures or tiled uh, representations of the data. And then you can put this in a subfolder if you want. Um, I'm going to do that in this case. I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Mon, oops, Mon Forest. And then sharing. So I'm just going to share this with everyone. So that means anyone with ArcGIS Online access can view it. Um, if you just did your organization, then just people in your organization could see it. If you go to groups, you can also share with groups that you're attached to. Um, for example, I'm in this WebGIS group, but we're not, I'm not going to do that because that's not really being used in this context. If you go to configuration, this is going to list everything that's going to be published into that folder. So in my content, which is my folder on ArcGIS Online, I'm going to create a subfolder called Mon Forest, and there I'm going to publish the map object and then all these data layers, which will be hosted within a uh, single hosted feature layer. So it's like sublayers within a hosted feature layer. All right, so before we publish, we need to analyze and make sure there are no issues. So I'm going to click Analyze. All right, so there were 10 warnings and zero errors. Looks like most of the warnings relate to feature templates. That's not an issue. Um, and then this says layer symbology will be downgraded. So um, I guess that's just going to alter the this, this symbology. So with warnings, you should be able to publish, um, which there might be uh, some issues. OK, so what I'm going to do now is share it. So this will go through the pub process of publishing. Um, so I'm going to click Share, and that will initiate that process. OK, so again, this is basically just like running a tool in ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to cut this video here um, so it can go through the publishing process. And when I come back in, it'll be done, and we'll move into ArcGIS Online to continue building our web map and eventually our web app.